Hi everyone, my name is Kaya. We're in the Kettle and Cord kitchen today. I'm gonna show you guys how to make a super simple pomegranate sorbet, perfect for the high holidays, and then I'm gonna show you a really easy way to glam it up. I have in this bowl three cups of pomegranate juice, just 100% plain pomegranate juice, and a cup of water. In here I have half a cup of plain white granulated sugar. I'm just gonna pour that in, get all of it in, and whisk it up. So I whisked all the sugar into the sorbet mixture. I am going to transfer this to a pot. We're gonna put the pot on the stove, bring it to a boil, that'll take around five minutes. So this is the mixture that I just brought to a boil on the stove top. That was just to get the sugars and the liquids fully combined. Then I transferred that to the fridge for like three to four hours just to let that chill before we churn it. I've got my ice cream maker right over here. I use this at home all the time to make ice cream. It's so simple. You just need to freeze this little insert for like eight to 12 hours before you use it. I'm gonna take this mixture, pour it in, very careful, uh, what did I say about very careful? Don't do this at home kids, or do, but do it less messy. So now we're gonna take this, this is the churner, this like kind of moves around inside, you just put it down this way. I am putting this cover on. And there you have it, your sorbet mixture is churning. It's gonna start out liquidy and then it's gonna get pretty icy, slushy until it turns into sorbet. Give it around 20 to 25 minutes and we'll see how it looks. It looks perfect. I told you guys this was super quick. Okay, I transferred the turn sorbet to the freezer. It's just gonna firm up for like an hour or two. Now comes the really fun part. We're making champagne floats with the sorbet. I am gonna pop this bottle, top these cups off, then we're gonna top them with some scoops of sorbet, a little bit of fresh mint. How fancy is that? Okay, let's go for this. Guys, does anybody know how to pop them? <laughs> now comes the fun part. We are going to assemble these champagne floats. I'm gonna fill these glasses just a little bit with some of this champagne. Keep in mind that when you put your sorbet scoops in, the champagne is going to get a little bit higher in the glass. Look at that, perfect. And just a little bit of that fresh mint garnish for flavor and color. There you have it, pomegranate and champagne floats. Super simple, super glamorous, a wonderful make-ahead treat that you can just put together any night of the end of. This is so much fun. Let's go ahead and taste it. It's gonna get messy. Delicious. 